Hi guys, expertine in the Philippines here again. So I was uh, just been reading my my newspapers, the the UK newspaper, the Daily Star, and um, I I find a a funny article. I think it's funny anyway. So the the story is of um, an old Chinese guy that uh, ran the run the marathon, and apparently this guy is a chain smoker, and he can't stop smoking. So <laughs> even though he, he's running the marathon, he starts to smoke. So all this uh, smoking damages your health. Well, apparently not for this guy, but. Smoking during the marathon gets you disqualified. <laughs> so I'll I'll just read through it, and uh, we'll go through. So the the title is uh, "Chain Smoking Runner Disqualified from Marathon for Smoking on the Track." <laughs> and there's a there's a picture of him. He's actually he got his cigarette and he's lighting up, and there's a, a puff of smoke. So apparently, and it will, I'll tell you three, he was um, warned before and the, the Chinese uh, Athletic Association know this guy and the, uh, it was uh, banned. I'm not sure when it was banned now, we'll, we'll, we'll go through it. Anyway, they, they banned smoking and some other things um, to promote like uh, healthy and... and uh, sports so anyway, <laughs> I'll go when you could have had the London Marathon or whatever you got these guys oh, uh, uh, running through There's, he runs good times so I'll, 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 I'll keep on so Uncle Chen also known as aptly uh, is aptly named as the the smoking brother <laughs> Uh, is an iconic figure in the world of marathons, thanks to his pungent of smoking in the uh, overlong races. So we'll go, and there's a picture of him in there. So a Chinese marathon runner known for his love of smoking has been disqualified despite completing the race. God, do you wait? Well, it's, it's three and a half hours, and a marathon's not easy, is it? And then uh, in the end, you get disqualified because you were having a smoke. So again, it says Uncle Chen, who is nicknamed the Smoking Brother, is an avid runner and completed the Xiamen Marathon earlier this month, clocking in uh, at three hours and thirty-three minutes. That's really good. I mean, it's, I think it's just over an hour and a half longer than the, the professionals, but uh, it's just. The 52-year-old completed the race in just five minutes slower than his uh, three minutes 28 finish two years ago. But despite his impressive time, he was disqualified for smoking on the track. So, not only was his feet smoking, <laughs> but also... <laughs> Um, pictures of Chen, who was uh, placed 574th out of more than 1,500 runners, were plastered across social media with the athletes smoking consistently throughout the marathon. They class that as doping, maybe, also? Maybe put something in the tobacco. Who knows? So, uh, yeah, this was passed all across social media, which brought attention to an initiative that the authorities in the in the Asian nation brought forward when they banned smoking in marathons back in 2023. Whether he was the only one smoking or more of them smoking, I know I've never seen this before. This is the first time I've heard it. Anyway, 
Following the release of the photos, the Xiamen Marathon Committee issued a statement where they announced Chen's disqualification, as they cited his behaviour as a violation of Article 2.12 in the Xiamen Marathon Rules and Regulations. Aha! So, there we have it. So, either he didn't read the rules, he didn't know at all. But if he's known for doing this, why didn't anybody warn him? Maybe we'll have to try and get in contact with him and see what he says. So there's another picture there. So in it states, so these are the rules, it states uncivilized behavior from runners such as defecation so you're not allowed to go for a shit while you're on a run. Smoking, <laughs> smoking, or tramp, this is a good one, trampling on flower beds or green spaces. Who on earth, when you're going, when you're running a marathon, are going to trample on flower beds? I mean, to have that put in the regulations, obviously they've had people doing it. I don't know. I've never seen it when I've been watching these marathon races. So, trampling on flower beds and green spaces affect the race and the safety of other runners will result in disqualification. So, I'm not even allowed to tread on a flower. Oh, yeah. So the proposal was implemented by the Chinese Athletics Association, CAA, in order to promote healthy participation and to end smoking during road running events, which was seemingly, uh, seemingly ignored by Chen, who continued his unconventional pairing of smoking and running. And... Uh, <laughs> He's got a cigarette hanging out his mouth. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Uh, Chen has a history of his unique behaviour during events, having gone viral back in 2018, after he was snapped smoking whilst running through the Guangzhou Marathon. In typical Chen fashion, he completed it in a respectable time of 3 hours and 36 minutes. Again, that's a very good time. And it's smoking. So, would he be able to do it faster if he didn't smoke? I, I don't know. So then, just a year later, the Chinese national took to the road again with his trusty pack of cigarettes as he ran at the Xiamen Marathon uh, in 2019, finishing in a career best time of 3 hours and 32 minutes. Oh, there it is. It, 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 stops. <laughs> it stops there. So, is, is smoking really bad for your health? Probably not for this guy. <laughs> So, you know, if you're going to do a marathon in, uh, in China, don't smoke. Don't trample on any uh, flowers and any green areas because they don't like it and you'll get disqualified. So that's my, that's my bit for today. Um, as always, if you found it interesting and a little bit funny, Give me the thumb <laughs> if you thought it was a lot of BS and whatever. You can give me the thumbs down. Let me know what you didn't like about it. Um, if you have not subscribed already, please do so. Um, press the notification bell. Ding! So you get notified when I post my next video. And please feel free to uh, share amongst your family and friends. So take care, everybody. Have a good day. That's all from me. So I'll catch you next time. So for me, it's 
Goodbye.